Hello everyone. Till now we have seen the bonding in carbon and also the electron dot structure. So we are going to see another important property of carbon which is allotropy. Now it is a phenomena of existence of an element in two or more forms having different physical properties but identical chemical properties and is called as allotropy and the different forms which are exhibited by it are called as allotropic forms. Now carbon has three allotropes in the crystalline form. These are diamond, graphite and fullerene. Now all these allotropes are the purest form of carbon. They have similar chemical properties but the difference lies in the manner of the structure of bonding of carbon with one another. So we are going to see the different allotropes one by one. Now the first two allotropes which are diamond and graphite we are going to understand them by drawing a difference table. So diamond has a rigid three dimensional structure whereas graphite has two dimensional sheet like structure which lies one above the other. Now diamond is the hardest substance known whereas graphite is soft and greasy which makes it useful as a lubricant in heavy machineries working at high temperature. Diamond is a bad conductor of electricity but a good conductor of heat and so it is used in cutting tools. Whereas on the graphite when we talk of graphite it is good conductor of heat and electricity both. So due to its conductivity it is used in making electrodes of the battery. Now diamond is transparent and has high refractive index so it is used in gemstones and jewelry. Whereas Graphite is opaque grayish substance that means it has no refractive index. Now diamond is chemically unreactive on the other hand graphite is reactive. So we have seen the differences between diamond and graphite. One thing is clear from the above table though both are made up of carbon but due to their change in the structure their property changes and which makes them useful differently for the different purpose. Now let's see the third allotrope which is fullerene. Now these fullerenes are a new class of carbon allotropes. They are spheroidal in shape and contain even number of carbon atoms ranging from 60 to 350. The first one to be identified was carbon 60 which had a shape of football. Since it looked like a geodesic dome designed by US architect Buckminster Fuller, it was named as fullerene. It is mainly used in modern science. So we have seen the allotropes of carbon. We are going to see more properties of carbon in our next video.